Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Quick update on our pattern next week. We've got some rain on the way this weekend and other stuff, but everybody online, unfortunately, is so focused on next week. One thing we know for sure, it's going to be cold, but I did want to give you an update because we're now getting into that time frame, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, next week. We're in the five to seven day outlook. So we were in the pattern, we had it. It's still there. It's trending up, I would say a little bit. I'm not saying it's trending up a bunch, but it's certainly not going away. So we're in that five to seven day period where it is looking like there's going to be wintry weather. But I would caution you, it does not necessarily mean snow. It does not mean a bunch of snow. It does not mean a big storm. It just means chances for wintry weather, snow, sleet, or ice. So that's what's happening right now. Let's dive into the model guidance real quickly. Um, I'm going to show you the whole country here. Um, we're going to start this weekend. <laughs> We're going to go through time. This is the GFS model. I'm going to show you the European, I mean, European model. I'll show you the GFS here in a minute. European model has been most aggressive for winter weather for us for the last several days. Um, I won't focus too much on particulars in this other than the overall pattern here. We'll talk a little bit about what's happening. Is this cold air? You can see the blue lines. That's really cold air moving in. Sunday, a secondary low could form with the Arctic front. That's something to keep an eye on. Might get a little surprise flurry out of that, but not a really big deal. We'll go into next week. You see the cold air, those blue lines, the 540 line, which is right there. Uh, that's really cold air, by the way. The 540 line is the rain snow line. The fact that it's down in the Gulf of Mexico tells you that's super cold air. Okay. Then the middle of next week, the track of the storm is key. So we're going to go to Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Here's the concern. And this is something that happens when it's really cold. This trough could be so deep and so far down that, yes, the storm could track too far south. This is called the suppressed track. So we end up with super cold, dry weather, and there's higher chances of snow, sleet, and ice to our south, even into Georgia, <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina, Savannah areas. Now, the, the European model has backed off. It actually shows it completely dry and suppressed. But there's a storm track there. You see all that green? The storm tracks there. Now, oftentimes in the long range, this happens, but in the short range, as we get closer, the storm starts trending back to the north and west. That is certainly still a possibility, but it's something to keep an eye on. So when you look at the maps like this, which you'll see a lot of here in the coming days, um, this is the chance of precipitation, wintry precip next week. Notice how the darker shades of green, which I'm gonna move my head over here, is the 30 to 50% chance of wintry precip is actually to our south, okay? It's actually further to our south. Let me look at the interactive version of this. It'll be easier to show you. Um, we'll zoom in on this area. So this is Tuesday. We go into Wednesday morning. So this is Tuesday to Wednesday. Charlotte area is north. So north of Interstate 85 has actually got a lower chance of wintry weather than areas to the south. We go into Thursday. We're still in that percentage. So you see Tuesday night into Wednesday, but Wednesday, Thursday in there as well. And, and this is a signal that the models are suppressing the track of this. And we'll go back. And I'll kind of show you the, uh, I showed you the European model. Let me show you the GFS track real quickly here, just to give you an idea. Now, again, these models run every six hours. Don't read too much into it, but it's a trend we're starting to see in the guidance here. So we'll show you the GFS. I'm going to show you the latest run. Hopefully, let me move up here. We'll try to show you the 12Z run. There we go. We're getting some data in. All right, there we go. So we'll give you the latest run here to try to show you what's happening. So we'll go through time. You see our weekend system. There's that little low. So a little bit different than the European model. The cold air is pretty deep, but it's not as far south, but it's also very suppressed. In fact, Tuesday, look at where the track is. So for the first time, the models are in somewhat agreement, which probably is not great news for snow lovers, but gosh, I wish this would stop. Um, hold on one second. Let me move this out of the way. Sometimes I gotta get my telestrator out of the way here. So we'll move this to right here. So look at this, this is next Wednesday, early morning. There's a system, but it's tracking over Florida and off the coast. It's too far south for wintry weather. So look where it is. It's way down here. So this is something to keep an eye on. It actually, there's no such thing as being too cold to snow, but where that term sometimes mistakenly comes from is when the cold air is so far south, the trough of low pressure digs so deep into the Gulf Coast that it pushes the storm track all the way down here and it causes the precipitation to stay to south. So it's not that it's too cold, because it can snow at any temperature. It's just that the cold air has pushed the storm track so far south that we don't see it. So that's a real possibility next week. There's a chance it could just be super cold and dry. 
So that's why you got to be very careful. And there's a very good chance if we do see wintry weather, it might be more south than north. So let's look at some probabilities. So this is one of my favorite products. You're starting to see it more and more, which I'm a big fan of in the long range. Instead of showing you specific snowfall totals, let's show you just the chances of seeing one inch of snow, okay? Uh, we'll go through time here. One chance, and this is over the entire time period, not a specific time period, you know, like 24 hour period, but this is through Sunday. We'll go through Monday morning, okay? Let's go into next week. This is Tuesday. You see the creeping of some chances of wintry weather. I'll stop this at the very, this is the latest European, so it goes through Wednesday morning. Notice where the highest chances of wintry precip are trending to our south. So along the coastal sections, you're getting into the 30, 40% range, and to the north, it's dropping to 10 to 20%. And it's not like it's just one piece of, of data. We can look at a couple pieces, and I'll show you. Okay, let's look at the uh, GFS model, same probabilities of one inch of snow. Okay, we'll go through the middle of next week. I'm gonna stop this Thursday afternoon. Look where the trend is, to our south. So for all my viewers and followers down here along the coast, your chances are higher than they are in Charlotte. And chances in Texas and Louisiana are higher than in Charlotte right now. So just a word of caution, I posted a graphic earlier saying, what if I told you the chances were higher to the south? That's a real possibility. And it's certainly something to keep a close eye on. Now, I showed you that impact graphic. I'll, I'll really show you what this product looks like. Uh, so this is the likely, I actually put the wrong days on there, so I apologize, I fixed it already. But uh, this is the chances, a moderate chances of um, impacts from winter, a winter storm, which could be snow, sleet, or ice. So we'll go through Monday, we'll go into, um, start this coming up on Tuesday of next week in the morning, afternoon, Tuesday night. Wednesday night into early Wednesday. So this is Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. You see the probabilities around 40% south. And as we go through time, it stays 40%. So Wednesday looks to be kind of the day, honestly. But look where those chances are trending. They're trending towards the coast and southeast. So these are moderate impacts, which you look on the side means hazardous driving, use extra caution, possibly closures or delays for businesses and schools. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. I'll be tracking that for the next five to seven days. Uh, it's really probably next Tuesday, Wednesday that things ramp up. But tomorrow and into the weekend, we're probably going to have a pretty good handle on things. But I will caution you, don't get super excited for snow. This could still be all ice and it could be to our south. So it's something to keep an eye on as we go through the next couple of days.